<clears throat> Hi everybody. I'm about to load the kiln and I, sh I thought I'd show you a quick before and then after. Let's see if I can remember what I did. The four shell mugs in the background are chambray inside and out with a dip to just under the shell with iridescent iron. The salsa server in the front is dipped in fog inside and out and then just a little teeny bit of cream on the handle and along the rim. These mugs over here I put chino on the inside, dipped it into chino on the outside. After it dried, dipped it into Mediterranean mist just to below the trailer. And this one was sea mist on the inside, chino on the outside, and then a dip just below the trailer in sea mist. This is a little bit of an experiment. I did it once, but I put too much glaze on and it ran all over the shelf. So I'm trying again. I filled the inside of the mug with cream. Then I dipped it in cream to just below the shell. And then when it was dry, I dipped it in chino down to the base of the mug. I'm hoping for a beautiful result. And this one is also a little bit of an experiment. The salsa server is completely dipped in chambray and then just along the rim and on the handle I put cream. Now I did this once, has to be two years ago, on a mug, I'm sorry, on a trinket keeper of some sort, some sort of lidded vessel and where the cream mixed with the chambray it almost became violet so we'll see how that works out and then the rest of the pieces that are going in the kiln today are the sea mist over chino the poppy vase and the refire of the sea mist over mediterranean mist I'm hoping that that gloppy stuff at the bottom will smooth out. If it doesn't, then they go in my shelf. So, that's what's going in the kiln today. It's my last firing before we head back up to Connecticut. So I'm hoping for some fabulous results so I can leave on a happy note. These are some of the mugs that are just waiting to go to good homes. And yesterday I started experimenting a little bit with my version of a little turtle. And how I might take those hand-built fruit or pasta bowls and make them a little bit more appropriate for this area and I thought maybe some starfish imprints would be pretty cool. I have actual starfishes that I lay down into the leather hard clay and um, do a little bit of an imprint plus I make my own outline and detail. So we'll see how that turns out. Those are the ones that I put in the mold and then I add the foot at leather hard and I have the texture on the bottom to hide the imperfections quite frankly. But they come out pretty cool. So, if you hear the sadness in my voice, oh, there's my starfish. It's because my time here in my Florida studio is running short. Pray for good results. Thanks for watching.